Andres. Fernando? Uh, my name is Salomon Asad. My name is Aurora, and I am an international student. I am from Bangladesh. I'm from Brazil. Americana, like a very small town in Sao Paulo, Brazil. I am from Colombia. I'm Italian, so from Italy, Sado Italy. So, why did I choose to study in the US? I think it, it was because when I was a little kid, I saw this video clip of Red Hot Chili Peppers, California Cation playing on MTV, and I saw all those palm trees and bears and buildings and like crazy stuff happening. And then I just fell in love with the band. And then I started to play music and I put a lot of my time, a lot of my teenage years and early adulthood in learning music. And there was a point that I had to decide what to do with my life. And I was like, okay, so I always had this idea about California uh, that should be a super cool place to be. So here I am today. It's uh, useful to have uh, a degree from the US. It gives an incredible opportunity worldwide. Well, uh, for me, US was a great option because in terms of my career, which I'm looking for a business administration, it does offer a lot of career options for me later on. The biggest difference between the US and Italy Definitely uh, the community side. Uh, in Italy, the community is very important. Uh, so uh, the family and the, how much the family affects you, your everyday life is incredible. Instead here, I found out that uh, there are not so many opportunities thinking about community side and family side. So I felt that yeah, those two are the main important reasons why the two main differences. One of, of the biggest difference are like the culture because here, more in LA, are a lot of different cultures, like different countries. So it's, I think that is the biggest and the language. The biggest differences in the Tumac country and the US. If I think about people and the way people interact with each other, I think it's very similar to Brazil. Like the same problems and the same uh, good things exist here and there. I, I would say socially it's very similar, but if we think about infrastructure, opportunity, especially in the arts, business, I would say United States is much better and also they have much more ramen here, which I love. My biggest challenge is to meet a, a new people because they speak a different language. So it's hard to me to maybe make a joke or make more funny because in Spanish it's different than like in English. Well, I'd say my biggest challenge as an international student here was probably you know, making friends and socializing here because it was a completely different country and of course when I first moved here, my first thought I just wanted to go back to my country because it was just hard to be without friends and uh, especially inside classes, it was difficult because not everyone was like, that talkative. They were all concentrated on their own thing. The way I overcame this big, big challenge that was for me personally, I started uh, talking to more people on campus. I tried being more socializing, more active with everyone, go to events and see how I can make friends. And that pretty much helped me make a lot of amazing friends now. And yeah, I would say it was the biggest challenge I faced. Biggest challenge as an international student, it's definitely money. I think the main problem is that the currency in Brazil is so weak against the dollar. So I, I had to work for five years to have enough money to pay for the first six months of living here. So it, that was very surprising. Yeah, that's the biggest challenge for sure. And what I have been doing is, you know, you have to be creative to find ways to make money legally. Really, ha having a positive mindset and having perseverance, being resilient to all the challenges, and I think that's the biggest thing. And um, yeah, can't think about anything else. The biggest challenge, I think, is that the feeling of being alone in a totally different country and the 
opportunity though that this gives to you is just push yourself to try to have a different point of view of yourself and your surrounding as well and uh, how I overcome them just talking to people, talking to international people, uh, people that are willing to listen to you and trying to have an uh, um, open mind for sure and have a different uh, point of view from, from someone else is help you as well to you know, receive uh, and live in a different way here in the US. Perfect. Perfect. That was perfect. Thank you so much. Yep. <laughs> that was perfect. Nice. Thank you so much.